GameRanks presents the 10 best free iOS and Android games from January 2016. Sometimes you need a break from the hardcore stuff and it's nice to pop into mobile. So here's some freebie games that we can totally recommend, starting off with number 10. Mountain Biker is one of those downhill jam type of games. I don't really have a way to describe the genre, but it's similar to Ski Safari or Tiny Wings where you just glide down a mountain and you control your velocity on how you hit hills, but this time it's on a bike and you can do flips. And yeah, I know that's probably a very simple premise, but it's good. This Mountain Biker game does have a lot crammed in it considering it has like 14 riders, a bunch of different actual real world bikes, 18 tricks to do, three different type of map locations, and the coolest part, the ability to create your own trail. It's actually pretty fun. And at number 9, we have Rocket Ski Racing. This free game comes with 24 races that you gotta blast your way through and try and beat your high score. It's a simple premise, but I really like the way it looks, and it's pretty fast. You need some good reaction times. It's really, really basic, but it's a lot of fun, and it comes with 6 tracks, 24 different actual races, 2 different modes, and you can play with a digital joystick or tilt. I definitely recommend tilt because it's actually calibrated pretty well and makes it kind of fun. And at number 8 we have Loot and Legends. We've mentioned this game before and it's free to play and it's pretty cool. This game is a spin-off and inspired by the PC game Card Hunter and is very much Dungeons and Dragons tabletop gaming inspired. Even down to the look, it looks like you're playing on a board with actual game pieces. That being said though, this game actually has some personality to it. There's some funny dialogue and just presentation elements that just make it kind of chuckle worthy instead of just rolling generic dice and just playing with generic orcs. There's pizza references and any game that has a pizza reference is worth playing my book, especially since this is a freebie game. That being said, I would avoid some of the microtransactions, they don't seem very balanced or fair. And at number 7 we have Defenders 2 Tower Defense CCG. This is a good ass tower defense strategy game. It looks visually great and gameplay wise there's a lot going on because it's like a tower defense game but there's also this rune card collecting mini game built in. There's a lot of tower defense game here with 20 different enemy types and 30 bosses. Each level has multiple difficulty modes as well as different variations like you can add weather effects. It gets pretty damn challenging very quickly. But for some of you hardcore tower defense type of people this might be right up your alley especially for some quick pick up and play bits. You can also play with other people online. And at number 6 we have Age of Wushu Dynasty, this top down RPG with a very different style you don't see in games very often, especially mobile games. This is actually the follow up to the PC MMO Age of Wushu, and I can say maybe if you've been playing the new Blade and Soul, this type of game might be up your alley. It's kind of like a Chinese Ming Dynasty version of Diablo, and that is not a problem. There's lots of kung fu blocking and hack and slashing, and it's pretty badass. There's a lot of stuff here with different schools of martial arts to choose from, a bunch of different loot, and weapons, and the ability to do PvP guild raids. This is a surprisingly deep game that's pretty cool. It is a little buggy, and sometimes the multiplayer just feels totally unbalanced, but since it is so unique and it's a decent top-down RPG, we're gonna recommend it to you guys. And at number 5 we have Jetpack Fighter. This is a game where you blast across a map as a cool little character with a jetpack and basically slash and shoot and swipe your way across a level. It's really fun, really great for quick pick up and play moments, and the art style and design actually kind of reminds me a lot of Mighty Number no. 9, which still hasn't released by the way if you're counting, so maybe this will be like a good little palette cleanser. One thing I do like about this is that the game emphasizes speed and there are leaderboards built in, especially on iOS if you're on Game Center. You can compete with your friends for how quick you can blast through a level, and that's pretty cool. And at number 4 we have Pathos, NetHack Codex. This is a really old school style roguelike adventure game. This is basically a revamped mobile version of the classic PC game NetHack using the same rules and style of gameplay. There's 13 different classes here and you delve into tile based dungeons in a very old school format. This game is not for everyone, but maybe if you like some real hardcore roguelike RPG-ish action, or maybe you're just really old and you remember playing this style of game on your crappy old PC, Pathos NetHack Codex might be for you. The coolest about this though is that it's a free game so you can download it and try it out and if it's totally not your thing you can delete it problem solved at number three we have sky chasers sky chasers has a really cool premise where you're just a kid in a cardboard box that flies around this is a very old school fun loving childlike style platformer ish game that just has this charm that like i can't get away from i sat down to play this game for a few minutes and then i ended up sucking an hour into it immediately and not even realizing time went by it's got great pixel art great music and it's just good platforming style fun and it gets pretty challenging there is some in-app purchase stuff that you can ignore sometimes it's a little pushy so i'm just warning you but it's worth pushing through to just enjoy this fantastic quirky little game. 
And at number two, we have Lone Wolf. This is a weird game. It, it probably looks very weird gameplay wise to you guys, but the concept here is pretty cool. It's a story based noir style game with a full five hour story mode where you play through and you're an assassin guy and you actually have to make decisions on who you kill. The game's concept is making you aim your gun and look through your sights or your scope and really think about who you're shooting and if you should pull the trigger. It's cool. There's a lot of story here. There's like 30 missions and there's a lot of hand drawn cutscenes with a fairly interesting little story. And plus, the visuals are very weird. The characters look kind of odd, but the guns and the hands look really cool. It's just a very unique type of first person style game. We've seen a lot of crappy ones on mobile before, but this one's pretty interesting. I can definitely highly recommend this one because I've been playing it for a few weeks and it's cool. And at number one, we have Pocket Mortys. What the hell exactly is this game? This is an Adult Swim Rick and Morty spin-off game that is kind of like a spoof on Pokemon. And it's actually really damn good, even if you've never watched Rick and Morty. However, I do recommend you should watch the show because it is pretty freaking hilarious and a total shit show. But you basically go around and collect and train Mortys from different multiverses and use them to battle other Ricks and stuff. There's item crafting, there's collecting, and there's all this cool music and animation and your favorite characters from the show. So a lot of the charm here is if you watch Rick and Morty but that being said it is an addicting little game and it's just good clean fun it's not that deep it's not like a super complex game but the battle system is very addictive and Adult Swim keeps adding new Mortys to collect all the time and that's totally appreciated so guys those are the 10 best free iOS and Android games from January 2016 we want to know what you guys are playing on your phones. Let us know in the comments below. If you did have a good time with this video and maybe discovered a new game, clicking the like button is the best way you can help us out and say thanks. And if this is your first time here, you should subscribe because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.